You can use a drop down menu in App Lab to do a lot of things. Now, what I don't want to show you is how to use a drop down to change a color because that's in the Computer Science Discoveries lessons, and I don't want to give away lesson answers. But I can show you another thing that you can do with it that might help you out. Uh, I might inspire you to have some other ideas. In this one, I'm going to use the drop down menu to change the font of something. So I have my drop down here, and I need something for it to change. So I'm just going to grab a text box and make it enormous. And then I want to make the font just big enough for you to see, so I'll make it something bright and make it something large. Give it an ID and just some text. So then in my drop down, I need to give give it some values so we can stretch this out bigger so we can see what we got. And in this case, I want to give it some number values. Uh, so I'll just start with a 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 200. Now if I just hit run now, you can see that those are already populated, but they don't do anything. OK, so I've got all the values that I need. And now I just need some code. So what I'll do is say on event, whenever the drop down, and I don't really want to do on click, I want to do whenever that value changes. So whenever the drop down changes, I'm going to set a property of this hello. So I named that the ID hello label. And in this case, I'm going to change the font size. And I want the font size to be uh, whatever's in this pull down. I guess I have to hit run for you to see them. I want the font size of hello to be whichever number the user chooses. So in order to do that, I have to get this value somehow. So let's make a variable. And we can call it. Uh, drop down value and we need to use a get property and we will use that to get the value of the drop down menu so we need to select the drop down here and it's text mm, I think value is better there so now we want to so this this variable drop down value is going to be whatever they choose. So now what we want to do is set the hello so font size to instead of 14 to drop down value, which is this value. Let's try that out and see if it works. So we'll hit run. First we'll choose a font of 40. 30 makes it smaller. Let's go all the way up to 200. And it looks like it's working. And that's an example of how you can use a drop down to change an element somewhere else on the screen.